What is going on YouTube? Kachin93 here with a remastered version of my multiple infinity tutorial. Now, I think in the past I did a separate video for the double, triple, and potentially quadruple infinities, but I decided that for this remastered series, I would kind of put them all in one video because they basically are the same concept, just reiterated multiple times, depending on whether or not you want to do a higher order, I guess, infinity. So hopefully you've watched the remastered version of my infinity tutorial, which should have preceded this video. If you haven't, go ahead and watch that over there. And once you have the infinity master, come back to this one and we will teach you how to do the double, triple, and the special quadruple infinity. The fact that I am doing all three of those infinities in one video, I'm not gonna be doing like, hey, this is what this looks like and this is what this looks like all the beginning. I'm going to be doing that as I go along. So hopefully that will be okay. So I'm going to spend a lot of time on the double infinity because I feel like the concepts then more easily transfer over to the triple and then the quadruple. So we're gonna start off with the double infinity here and then move on to the other two. So we're gonna start off with the double infinity, which looks a little something like this. Now, depending on who you ask and whose tutorial you watch, the way and style that I do my infinities might be very different. So I'm going to be teaching it my way and maybe you can modify it so that it looks more like someone else's or whatever. Um, there are two main ways that I know how to do it in terms of style and looks. Effectively, they're the same steps, it just depends on when you like turn your hand over. But um, my infinities, at least when I do them, they tend to droop down as in like I'm holding the pen and then they basically are pointing straight down at the ground while I manipulate them and then on their way up they're very circular kind of like that except you don't drop it of course. Anyway, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it that way. So if it's a little difficult to see just because of a lot of fingers are in the way, I apologize. I already tried to, to record this once, failed horribly in terms of the teaching and whatnot so hopefully I'll be better this time around. So obviously you need to master the infinity. And remember what I said in that tutorial was that you have to first let the pen kind of, you have to roll the pen down your your fingers like this and let it, fa and let it fall uh, into that first finger slot. You're gonna wanna do that, but then instead of, so this is where you would kind of drop the pen if you were um, doing a normal infinity, right? And you would go like this and you would be done with it. But for the double infinity, when you get to this point here, before you do that final swing over, for the double infinity, you're gonna to want to pretend that this, your index finger, is now your thumb. And then your middle finger is now your index finger, and then you know so on and so forth. Um, you're basically trying to do the infinity down the hand without the thumb. And to do that, you're now in the same position if you were to, for example, take the pen, hold it here in space, you could you change your fingers and then start the infinity again from this position. So you kind of see where I'm going at is that this is the same starting position that you would need for an infinity starting in the one, two finger slot. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you guys can visualize that as I've just showed you here. But now for the double infinity, what you want to do is you want to do that same kind of finger rolling manipulation to make the pen spin this way. And I'm trying to hold it in space so that you guys can see what's happening. Same thing, you swing it out. And again, instead of swinging it towards your finger slot, your one, two finger slot, or sorry, your T1 finger slot when you catch it, you're gonna wanna let it roll and kinda let it fall into that finger slot below. See, uh, so let's try that again. So we start off the normal infinity, let the pen drop into that first finger slot. When you get to here, realize that the pen is in the same starting position as if you're doing a normal infinity like that roll the pen or at least ro uh, make it rotate towards and then falling into that two, three finger slot. And then realizing that, Hey, this is here. Now for the keen observer, you'll notice that you could easily do the triple infinity from here too. You just do the same motion down the hand, but we're going to show you how to go back up the hand to catch it slash finalize the trick before we move on to the triple infinity. So from here, Actually, the pen will be here. I usually turn my hand over at this point. So it's palm side going down the hand. And the way I do it is that I turn my hand so it's palm more so palm down. 
Reason is because the way that I make my infinities go up the hand as in towards my thumb is that here, uh, so yeah, I turn my hand over and I do kind of like a, it's not really a charge, let's say, but like we're letting the pen roll, but we're letting it roll into the finger slot above it, right? So we're gonna do this. So you see what happens there? So it passes, the pen passes in front of my middle finger here. So I'm holding it in the two, three finger slot roughly. That's where the double infinity ends when it goes down the hand. And then turn the hand over. And I'm kind of over exaggerating how much I'm turning it just so you guys can see on the camera. Uh, but then you let the pen roll this way. And then, sorry, I'm trying to find a good angle for my other arm. Do this. Bring your index finger, I guess, closer to your middle finger, but under it, and then kind of let the pen transfer into this finger slot. And then from here, you'll do like a little mini charge, and then you'll finish it just like that. So again, full speed. Sorry, I did that wrong. Full speed, it looks like that. And I'll try to get better slow-mos of this because I can't quite see my camera angle right now even though I think it's okay. I don't know how the infinity or the double infinities look, especially because there's a lot of fingers involved. But hopefully that's stuck and hopefully that made sense. Theoretically, that's stuck. And if it's stuck um, to your minds, then we're going to move on to the triple infinity. If not, rewatch it again or rewatch the slow-mos and hopefully things will start to make a little bit more sense. So let's move on to the triple infinity. So the triple infinity looks like this. Another disclaimer is that even though I am using a Pentel RSVP to kind of purposefully show that you can do these tricks with a unmodded pen, this is very difficult for me to do this because the grip is not at the very tip of the pen. For example, if I take my trusty buster here, uh, the grips are pretty much here and the tip is not really that big or the tip is short enough relative to the grip that I can do the infinities more easily on this one just because there's nothing getting in the way really. Nothing is really hitting my fingers. This is doable and the concept is exactly the same as how it is in the double infinity. So you do this, let it fall down to the two, three finger slot. From here, it's a little bit more difficult because your pinky tends to be the weaker of your fingers, but you then let the pen roll down into the three, four finger slot. And then you repeat that same motion where you turn your hand over, let the pen roll into the finger slot above it, grip it in the two, three finger slot, and then do that circle, transfer it over, do that circle, and then you're back up to the starting position. So hopefully that makes sense. So that, that's a double right there. Triple goes down the hand. And I'm doing this really slowly and really choppily, just because again, the Pentel RSVP is not optimized for wipers. And now we're going to move on to the quadruple infinity. And for those of you guys who might not, one, know what this trick is, or two, maybe uh, you're still trying to understand the double and triple infinity, you might be really confused as to how the quadruple infinity works because this whole time I've been saying, okay, you manipulate the pen to roll it and then you let it fall down to the last, into the finger slot below it. Well, most people know that you don't have a finger below your pinky finger, therefore there's no finger slot there unless you happen to have six fingers, in which case, cool for you. Um, but you might be asking, how the heck do you drop the pen below the pinky and not have it drop? Because there's nothing below it that's gripping it, right? Well, here's where you get some interesting trickery, and the reason why the quadruple infinity is a lesser known trick is not only is it really repetitive in terms of the wiper looks, um, but it's also very impractical and not very useful. So. Hopefully you guys will understand the concept of how to do it. I will try to do it the best, I will try to teach you the best I can, and I will not be doing it live really because I can't do it consistently at all. I'm just doing this for proof of concept. Hopefully that's okay. I will again do a slow-mo, but that's gonna take many more takes than it will take if I try to do this live. So, quadruple infinity. You start off the same with the, as a triple, so you know, manipulate, roll, 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 
But when you get down here, uh, you're supposed to roll into the finger slot below, right? Well, the finger slot is technically non-existent, again, unless you have a sixth finger. I can't say that right. You're going to use your thumb, actually. You're going to roll the pen down. Sorry, not like that. So you're going to roll the pen down. But when you get your pe the pen gets to almost parallel with your fingers, you're going to take your thumb here and move it down. And when you move it down, you're automatically creating a fake finger slot here, if you can kind of see what's happening. So you're going to roll the pen into that finger slot. So let's try that again, or show that again, just so you guys understand. You're gripping it like this. This is how the triple infinity ends as you're going down the hand. You manipulate your finger so that it rolls this way. When the pen's just about parallel, move your thumb underneath your pinky to catch it and grip it like that. From here, uh, it's you turn your hand over. Well, it's going to keep spinning this way, by the way. Turn your hand over as it's spinning. And now we're here. You want to keep contact with the pen with your thumb. So you're still pinching it right here. Um, and then you still have to transfer it up the hand, right? So this momentum is going to keep it going. And then when the pen gets to just about parallel again with your fingers, that is when you want to move your ring finger close by. So you don't want your ring finger all the way up here. Uh, you want it to be close by at this point. And then the pen's going to keep rotating this way. Sorry. I uh, want to bring it close by so that you can then transfer the pen from the T4 finger slot. That would be your thumb and pinky finger slot into the 3, 4. So you want to bring your ring finger down below the pen, have the pen spin into this finger slot, and now you're here. And now you can do the rest of your magic to get the pen to move the rest of the way up the hand. Hopefully that all made sense. Um, I'll go over it again real quick just in case it didn't. So the triple infinity ends here. You need to roll the pen down. Um, when the pen is just about parallel, pull your thumb down here. Let the pen roll. I'm trying to like mimic this, but it's not really working well. Um, pen's going to rotate. You're going to want to drop it into this position where you're pinching it with your thumb and your pinky. Um, the pen is going to keep swinging. It's going to be swinging this way. Turn your hand over as it's swinging like that. Again, when the pen gets to just about parallel with your pinky and your thumb, bring your ring finger down below the pen so that the pen can then rotate into this finger slot. And from there, you work your way up to the top of the hand, assuming you can do it without dropping it. Again, the RSVP is not ideal for this trick. So that'll do it for my very long multiple infinity tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.